Hey, what's up, everyone? Kobanaman E456 here today, presenting to all a new episode of Mod Madness, as we are trying out another Sonic Generations PC mod. So I want to give a big thanks to Opa Opa86 for the Sonic 2 Generations character mod. So yes, we actually have a character that is based off of the uh, fan character from uh, Chris Chan. So if you all haven't heard of him, um, you know, longtime Sonic the Hedgehog fan, he's done quite a few videos in the past. I don't think he makes videos anymore, but a long time ago he made some character named Sonichu, which was basically like, you know, Sonic and Pikachu fusion dancing, and then we've got ourselves... I don't know what these are. I guess these are like Adidas almost, like the two stripes, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, though, um, yeah, so this is Sonichu Generations, and uh, let me know in the comments below for question of the day. What is the biggest nerd out moment you've had that's Sonic related? Well, give me your top three. And I'll kind of talk about mine um, in this video. But uh, anyways, yeah. And also, if y'all are excited about seeing the video, make sure to go and smash that like button. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get into this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't stop thinking about Mark the Taper. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Bruh. That is like one of my favorite episodes of Sonic Boom. Mark the Taper. It's like... <laughs> If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go watch, go watch, um, that episode of Sonic Boom. The Sonic Boom TV show was actually pure gold. The writing for it was phenomenal. <laughs> and really, really hate to see that it's not being continued. Oh my god, look at this. Sonic Chu is lord and savior of all the world. He can... Okay, now... Wait, I, I'm actually stuck now. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> but yes, we are playing with uh, Lord Sonichu, ladies and gentlemen. And um, yeah, Mark the Taper, man. Like, if any of y'all have seen that episode, that dude's just crazy. He just, like, absolutely loves Sonic. Like, that yeah, Sonic. He, like, gets down on his hands and knees for him. And then has a room that's, like, basically dedicated for Sonic the Hedgehog. And then, you know, when I think about them, like, Dang, I'm low-key like that too. I got so much Sonic-related stuff in my room. Just like, dang, am I actually marked the tape for two? <laughs> but like, yeah, I think my big, my big three nerd out moments for the Sonic the Hedgehog series were when I saw Sonic Unleashed, Sonic and the Black Knight, and then I don't know why, but I went crazy the day that I got the Sonic the Hedgehog ice cream. In California like my first time going to E3 or something like that I think there was an ice cream truck outside <clears throat> Jesus Christ excuse me gotta clear my voice anyways there was um an ice cream truck outside and it had the Sonic the Hedgehog ice cream I'm like bruh I haven't had this since I was like a little tight like what and it had the gumball eyes and everything and I was just like oh my god I'm actually a kid again. I'm actually a kid right now this is crazy but yeah, that was definitely a huge nerd out moment. And then I think, uh, what was, what was another huge nerd out moment? I'm trying to think. I think it was when I went to the Sonic Boom, the first Sonic Boom, where I saw a lot of you guys in New York. That was like my first time I met up with uh, Etika, um, saw John, um, someone else who was eviscerated, you know, just, yeah, it, it was a good time though. It was a good overall time. And um, man, that was just like, met so many fellow YouTubers who played the Sonic series, you know, made videos on it. I just realized I didn't even turn super. I, I got so into talking, but hey, at least you all got to see his animation there. As uh, now I guess we can go ahead and play a stage where we're going to turn super. I don't know where I want to go, though, is the thing. Let's see here. We got ourselves Sonic you. I guess we should kind of go here. Should we? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. That's so weird. I don't even know what I want to play right now. All right, so I actually forgot to turn Supersonic on as a skill, but all right, yo, we get ourselves that close-up of Sonic Chew. Let's go. Look at this horn devil. <laughs> but, you know, that's the thing. I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of Sonic fans actually at some point made their own fan characters because I think Tails Channel made Ninja the Hedgehog or something like that. I definitely made my own fa fan characters when I was younger. Um, some of them weren't even Sonic related. They were just inspired off the Sonic series. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna make my own video games when I grow up. And it's gonna, it was actually the way that um, it was supposed to play 
funnily enough, which was one reason why I got really, really hyped up for the Werehog, but then I was like, dang, Sega stole my idea as a kid. <laughs> um, uh, it was a character called Ash the Anteater, and he had like these huge claws and whatnot, you know, they were like really, really huge. And then he had a hairstyle that was just like, it was weird, it was weird. I felt like I had to like have something really, really weird and edgy looking to like make him look like a mixture of like a strong character like Knuckles, but then, you know, like the main character like Sonic the Hedgehog, if that makes sense. So it was like, I, I, I tried to make him like look strong, but then at the same time, uh, what is it? Make him look like the coolest out of the characters, if that makes sense. <laughs> that's how I was uh, designing my fan character back then. And oh my god, wow. Well, that's what happened to it. <laughs> it joined Sonichu. But nah, just kidding. Sonichu lives on forever. Everybody loves Sonichu. <clears throat> that's why he's a mod. <laughs> that's why he's a mod here. I wonder if we're going to ever get Sonichu on Sonic Mania. Give the fans what they wanted. Oh my god. Okay. I'm like doing complete and utter booty cheeks. Okay, let's go, let's go. Sometimes I gotta catch myself. Sometimes I gotta catch myself. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know something though? I actually miss when, um... I miss when, uh... The times when Sonic Unleashed came out. I don't know why, but that was such an exciting time to follow the Sonic series. It was just so much fun to follow. And, like, I remember, too, I used to always love, like, Italian food. And I still do. I have, like, an obsession with Italian food. It's, it's definitely an issue. But when I saw Rooftop Run for the first time with Sonic going left and right to the I see it, I see it, and now it's all within my reach, I was like, yo, yo, hold up. This is, this is actually hype. This is, like insane. I was losing my mind when I saw Sonic Unleashed for the first time, and especially when I heard that Endless Possibilities, because like I said, I saw the Werehogs gameplay, I was like, dang, this is like the character that I wanted to make, but you know, the Werehogs just slow compared to my character trying to be like Sonic and the Werehog at the same time. I still didn't turn super! What is with me? Alright, so we're gonna collect 50 rings quick, and then uh, we're gonna be finished, but anyways, um, yeah, like I was saying, um, Favorite nerd out moments, man. Like, the Sonic Unleashed, Sonic and the Black Knight trailers, like, just, I don't know, those were so hyped to me back then, because I would get, like, you know, the library time limit, 60 minutes for using the computer and whatnot, and I would just rewatch that trailer and try to analyze it. I was literally trying to do Game Explain, <laughs> Game Explain analysis in an hour, just for my own, you know, for my own sake, because... Those trailers just really, really got me hyped up. I wanted to see if there was any little intricate detail that I was missing. Because um, the game just filled me with so much excitement. So much excitement. And then, um, you know, then, like, going to the Sonic events, like, you know, Sonic Boom in New York. And then going to uh, the San Diego party. That was amazing as well, too. Like, met so many people who love the fan, uh, what is it, the, the series. And, you know, watch the videos and everything. Super good times, man. Super good times. It's just, whenever I do go to those kinds of events or anything like that, I get, like, super, super nervous. So, like, I don't know if that, like, throws people off. But, like, I try to, like, you know, just see, um, what is it, many people as I can. Because, you know, I know a lot of people, like, get excited for those events, too. And it's just, like, you know, have fun at it. But, all right, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, I think I'm gonna actually turn super right here, because look at this, this is like, I don't know why I've never thought about just stopping here and turning super. Look at that, okay. So, he looks exactly the same besides his, uh, double stripe Adidas shoe. Oh, okay, whoa, look at these, okay. It's kind of clean, yo, look at this, he got himself the Pikachu lightning sparks right now, let's go. Let's go. Do that Volt Tackle, Sonic. <laughs> Alright, whoa, hold up. Okay, this man's actually doing that straight Volt Tackle with that extreme speed. Let's go. Dang, hold up. I didn't know Chris Chan knew how to make a super-powered character like this. Whoa. Okay. Dang, give this man the reins. <laughs> Alright, and there we go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, Super Sonic Chew. That's so crazy. <laughs> Yo, Sega actually acknowledged him in the form of Marky Taper. 
So, uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> that wraps up for this video. So thank you guys so, mu so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, you know, smash that like button. Give me your top three biggest nerd out moments down below. And uh, what was I supposed to be talking about for the next video? It was something about the pros and cons of modern and classic Sonic games. So I'm going to read the comments on the last video. I've just been, it's been a weird past few days, so that's why uploads have been slow again. But I don't want you all to think that I'm not going to upload at all this week. It's just trying to like get the proper mindset with everything so that I can just start pumping them out again. Like how I was like, you know, like a week ago or something like that. But, um, oh, this dude's getting bored of talk, uh, hearing me talk right now too. Okay, screw you. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know that, you know. I'm trying to get you all the content that y'all always ask for. So, you know, thanks for the patience and thank you as always for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kubanamite.